calendar rain started when I somebody made a comment that it always rains on the weekends, and I wondered if that was actually true. But nobody ever keeps really track of when it does rain, and so I thought, okay, there has to be some way of just establishing when it does rain and when it doesn't, so people can remember it, unless you're going to mark it down in your calendar, which no one does. So that's how calendar of rain started with this kind of I need to prove whether this is true or not true. It's about this rainy weekend, and. Um, so it's a, a piece where every single day has a, has a jar, has a jar not dissimilar to this, and the date of the jar is inscribed on each, each um, glass front. So uh, before the show happens, you have to make a series of jars for every single day. And for this show, there will be a jar for every day of the year, which is pretty cool. And um, so that's all inscribed there. And then the, the curator has to take that particular day's jar off of the calendar and put it under uh, a receptacle which catches rain from the outside. I'm really interested in projects that utilize both the indoor space and the outdoor space. And even though you're inside, you're always aware of what the weather is, but there's this kind of disconnect. So this way gives you this sort of connection, like bringing the weather indoors. Um, so a big funnel will be catching the rain and it'll drip into this, well, if there is rain that day. So whatever precipitation will be caught. And if it's a sunny day, the bottle stays empty. If it's a rainy day, um, it will get its lid screwed on and it will be filled with that particular day's rain. And in time, it makes a bar graph um, in, with all these clear jars filled or not filled with rain about how much, it, how much precipitation there was, which is um, interesting. And it turned out there was not that much. There, it was a little heavy on the weekends, the first time I did it. And I read later that that had to do with um, business travel in airplanes and contrails. And the contrails of the extra jet travel during the week would create areas where moisture could condense around the little particles. And so by the time Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday's flights had created all these contrails, the, there was a buildup of rain possibility, like rain making that was going on in the sky. And so that was the reason that the weekends were seeming a little wetter.